Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on Fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Fabulous Friday. It is freezing out and all overcast and all that sort of stuff, but double C's abound. Anyway, I want to get this up. I have an absolutely bizarre day today. I have to go get a COVID test, so hopefully I can get up to Maine to see my mother this weekend. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, who knows? But anyway, uh... Yeah, let me honk a little bit. You saw the thumbnail, how to nail your Allstate audition, okay? I have a protocol, tried and proven protocol that I use with all my students, and they kill their auditions, all right? Anyway, let me honk. Haven't played a note. Let's see what we got. That's it. <laughs> that is my big protocol, my secret weapon to have all my students just nailing their auditions. Okay, first of all, guys, the secret to it is, is this. Now, I'm only saying which happens around Connecticut and all the regional and all state auditions happen right soon after marching band season. And that can be tough. That can be tough, guys. You know, chops and all this sort of stuff. But my students are playing so relaxed that it, it's not a big deal. Okay? But you, the point is, even though it's marching band season, guys, you have to start enough in advance. Okay? That you just know that piece as good as your marching band stuff. That's why I brought the correlation. I use that correlation all the time. You should have that nailed so well that it's just like your marching band routine that you don't even do the music for. Now, obviously, you can have the music for it, okay, in front of you, but it should just be to muscle memory. It should just flow. Just flow. Now, scales, you should know. Scales you should have nailed from the time you were 10 years old. The first thing we do when I start with students is scales. Every single day, scales, scales, scales. So when the time comes that you need them for an audition or something, you don't even have to think about them. Okay? Do them two octaves if you can. Now, this is all predicated on the fact, guys, that your chops are right. Okay? Get yourself a 1SB mouthpiece. Guys, it's a little pricey. It's much cheaper than all Monet and all that. It's much cheaper than that garbage. Okay? But guys, it is the only one you will ever need for the rest of your life. And it is a tremendous, tremendous investment. Have your parents get it for Christmas. You know, Kwanzaa, whatever you, uh, whatever you celebrate, guys, and get yourself a 1SB. Okay? Take a lesson or two. They're 20 bucks now, guys. Don't tell me you don't have 20 bucks. And if you don't have 20 bucks, go mow some lawns. Shovel some snow. Get 20 bucks and take some lessons. So I get your chops right. Okay? If the chops are right, generally speaking, I have never seen a regional or all-state audition that goes above a high C. Some of the jazz things, they ask for Ds. But you got a lockdown high C you are going to kill your audition, okay? All my high school kids are in F's and G's, and the chop-wise, 
the scales and the um, solos. It's a day at the beach, chop wise, a day at the beach. Okay? I literally have a couple guys say, and I said, don't have a smirk on your face when you say this, and don't try to be fresh. But if they ask you for a two, op two octave G, A flat, A scale, you say, excuse me, sir, which octaves? In other words, you can do it up to the G, depending on what two octaves you want. Not trying to be fresh, not trying to be smug, but just let them know. I got this if you need it. All right? Now, the chops. All my other videos about the chops, this is nailing your audition. Okay? Have your scales. Just, you don't even think about them. You do them a couple times a day. Guys, if you know all your scales, have them memorized. It takes you three and a half, five minutes to run them all every day. Now, if you're going to have five or six that are required, just do those. Chromatic scale. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Now, the chromatic scale, if you want to rip through it and um, uh, impress them with your speed and all this sort of stuff, that is what we are doing here with the solo, and I will get to that in a second. Okay? Scales, got them. Chops, got them. Okay? If you need help with the chops, get in touch with me now, and you'll be ready to go. Come on, dish it. All right, now, the solo itself. Get a recording of somebody good doing it. Not some clock, well, you know, we have a senior. The, 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 the. No. Get Maurice. Get somebody that is a, a, a significant soloist and get those notes in your ear. Live with it. Put them on your iPod. Have the, in the bus, you have your headphones in. Walking through the halls, you have, it is so much a part of your nervous system, your viscera. Guys, own that piece, okay? Then, just like I did a minute ago, okay? What the heck is he doing? That was the Haydn, do it in slow motion. Slow motion, okay? Now, Slow motion, but keep the tempo going. Put the metronome on, click, 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 click. Make every note pop, make every note sing. It's going slow enough so you can pay attention to all the articulations, all the dynamics. Okay, slow, slow, slow. Okay, now the phrases are not going to be as easy if you're taking it two, three, four, five times slower than it normally is. Stop. The minute you feel yourself crashing, stop. I know that's easier said than done for a good musician wants to hear the end of the phrase and get it. But you have to stop. Guys, if it's only one measure at a time, get that measure perfect. Make sure it pops. Spit buzz it. I don't have perfect pitch. Those probably weren't the right pitches, okay? But spit buzz it everywhere. When you're in the, in the bus, when you're walking down the street, have your headphones in, spit buzz with it. Spit buzz with Maurice. Oh, guys, this is doing it. Now, if you're spit buzzing and you have it memorized and you want a finger, have your fingers in your pocket while you're doing it, Guys, own the piece. This is muscle memory. Bum, 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 bum. Your muscles are memorizing how to do it. After two weeks of this, okay? Remember, you're starting several months in advance. Two weeks of it. Now, this is going, if it's going to take you 15 minutes to play the thing in its entirety, doing it this way might take you an hour. All right? Stop. Spit buzz, reset. Have plenty of rest. You never, never, never play this on tired chops. If your chops are stretching for the high C at the end of the piece, that is what your chops memorize. You have to stop 
spit buzz so your chops memorize it when they're full and relaxed. You have to do that. Otherwise, the opposite is true. The muscle memory will kick in at the end of the phrase when you're crashing. You are literally teaching yourself to crash. Literally, guys, and you have to. That takes more discipline than trying to do it five hours. That takes more discipline than doing it five hours. Okay? Now, if you do that slow and precision, five hours, then you got it. Now, after two weeks, after three weeks, after a month, and you just have it nailed, okay, then once, twice, three times a lady, three times a week, it doesn't matter. Once or twice a, a practice session, it doesn't matter. Play the phrases faster than you ever have to play them. Faster than you'll ever have to play. Then by doing the slow and by doing the fast, your performance tempo is cake. It is so simple. Between the muscle memory with the slow and the muscle memory taking it too fast. Now, if it's too fast for you, you don't want to do a clam bank. You don't want to just miss every note. That's not what you're after. Take it right at the tempo, the brink of the tempo that you're going to use. It's just so fast that you're going to miss every note. Take it back a step and do it as fast as you can. Okay? Now, that is another thing. Your performance tempo is entirely up to you. Just cross out the, 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 the metronome markings on the page. It doesn't matter. Now, I have judged these before, and I'm telling you, as sure as you're standing here, if you are doing this, bum, 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 and you play every note clear as a bell, popping with a beautiful tone, what are the, what are the, Adjudicator's going to, the judge is going to say, man, that guy sounded fabulous. He took it slow, but it sounded fabulous. Okay? Now the other one, you take it too fast and you have a clam bake and it's a mess, what do you think you're better off doing? Now hopefully, after doing this preparation that I gave you, you're going to have the metronome marking nailed. Okay? I can almost guarantee that's going to happen. But, here's the deal. If you don't have a 1SB, get in touch with me. If it's not, 1SB is not working for you, 20 bucks a lesson, once a week, twice a week. Guys, get the chops right and own your scales. Then, a recording by a great, a great player. Hear what you want and listen to it. Own that sucker. Own that sucker. Forget your top 40. Forget your rap, your hip-hop, forget all that for months. That's all you listen to in your mind. So it comes, it's just part of your being. For no reason, you're walking down the halls of school and you're whistling. You got it. That's what you want. Then, slow, slow, slow. Fast, fast, fast. And I'm not saying don't practice it at concert tempo. Do practice it at concert tempo. But right up until the, the day of the performance, go slow muscle memory, and you can ease out the super fast once you get the concert tempo going. Perfect score, man. Perfect score. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.